Okay, next on agenda is corporate bills. Uh, trustee, stand around. This is for you, Ed. You're such a fucking immature idiot. If that's not immature, just say the man hurt your feelings because he called out your incompetency. And then go home and practice reading numbers. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, Stan. Electronic bills, August the 31st, 2023. Corporate payment register, $257,082.90. Water fund register, $353,479.95. Sewer fund register, $1,058.63. American Rescue Plan, $32,550. Melody Fitness Register, $159.67 for a total corporate payments of $644,331.15. He did good there, huh? We get a motion to accept those bills as read. Is that second? I'll second. A motion and second. Any discussion? Please call the record. Trustee Norwood. Aye. Trustee Stanley Brown. Aye. Trustee House. Aye. Trustee Holmes. Aye. Trustee Belcher. Aye. Motion passed. All right. Trustee Stanley Brown. This time I'll read the Warren Vendor Report. October the 2nd, 2023. Corporate Payment Register. $2,550,341.67. Gross payroll, September 8, 2023, $496,763.08. Gross payroll, September 22, 2023, $493,629.25. Stan, I'm rooting for you. Baby, come on, come on, come on, Stan. All right, we worked on a couple words already. Let's work on the numbers. At some point when you're reading those numbers, before you read the cents part, you have to say dollars. You can't say thousand and then say cents. That's not correct. Don't be mad at Ed Steves because you can't read. We're going to do this again. Dollars and eight cents. Gross payroll, September 22nd, 2023. $493,629,025. Additional this nigga, payroll. This nigga, this nigga, this old nigga said $493,629,025. cents. You were doing so good. I wrote down every single number you said before that, and you were doing so good. I've even done the math, and it seems to add up. Well, not quite, actually. It seems like those bills before that actually came up to more than $644,000. Um, but, you know, my math might not be as good as yours. <laughs> but anyway, let's practice. 493000 six hundred twenty nine dollars and twenty five cents four hundred ninety three thousand six hundred twenty nine dollars and twenty five cents one more time chung fu four hundred oh, i'm sorry i'm talking to you like you my chinese kids uh, uh, one more time four hundred ninety three thousand six hundred twenty nine dollars and twenty five cents Roll checks three thousand six hundred forty dollars and sixteen cents. Melanie Fitness Center register ten thousand seven hundred ninety five dollars and eighty eight cents for a total corporate payment three million five hundred fifty five thousand one hundred seventy dollars and four cents. Their motion to accept the bill that being raised. Melanie that? Fitness Center register ten thousand seven hundred ninety five dollars and eighty eight cents. For a total corporate payment three million five hundred fifty five thousand one hundred seventy dollars and four cents. Their motion to accept the bill. Oh my God. Oh. 
$3,555. I mean, sorry, you said it right. I'm saying it wrong. I just want to talk about the number itself. You ain't saying nothing wrong, Stan. Don't get, don't get, don't get testy. Okay. I'm talking about the number here, not you. Calm down, baby. I know at your age, you, you've locked into your arrogance and you have a hard time taking feedback because you haven't been professionally developed. But I'm going to go ahead and read this number. So this corporate payment was $3,555,000. $3,000,000. I can't believe this shit. This is 23. $493,629,025. Mm -hmm. Additional payroll checks, $3,640.16. Melanie. But what was that additional payroll check for? Fitness center register. $10,795.88 for a total corporate payment of $3,555,170.04. Their motion to accept the bill is being read. All right, is there a motion. second? That's crazy. You know, is there a second? He is said, there a motion? Is there a motion? He said, Is there a motion? She said, Is there a second? Before Andrew Holmes had a chance to even say anything. <laughs> For a total corporate payment, three million five hundred fifty-five thousand one hundred seventy dollars and four cents. Their motion to accept the bill is being read. All right, is there motion. a second? Is there a second? He said, "Is there a motion?" There's been a motion he immediately by said, "Is there?" Well, he said, "Is there a motion?" Let me make sure I heard that right. For a total corporate payment, three million five hundred fifty-five thousand one hundred seventy dollars and four cents. Their motion to accept the bill is being read. Is there a motion? That was a question. All right, is there motion. a second? He said, "Is she said, is there a second?" As Andrew was saying, motion. That's how you know this whole thing is played out already. She didn't even wait for anybody to motion. T T Tiffany, you are stupid. She didn't even wait for anybody to motion. She knew Andrew Holmes was going to motion. She didn't even wait for him to say motion. She said, is there a second? While he was motioning. Is there a second? There's been a motion made by Trustee Stan Brown. Is there a second? Motion. It's a second by Trustee Holmes. Uh, any discussion? Wait a minute. That doesn't make sense. Melanie Fitness Center register $10,795.88 for a total corporate payment of $3,555,170.04. Their motion to accept the bill is being read. All right. He said, is there a motion? Now, I hope what he meant was I motion to accept the bills as being read. Because his crony, Andrew's response to what Stan said was motion. So, so Andrew Holmes heard what I heard. He heard a question. Is there a motion? What made Tiffany Henry hear that he motioned? Is there a second? Is there a second? Been a motion made by Trustee Stan Brown. Is there a second? Motion. It's a second by Trustee Holmes. Uh, any discussion? I have a comment, Mayor. How did the same person motion and second? Go ahead. Uh, well, my question is. Uh, for the public works, the agreement that we had, four years of uh, hard work that those gentlemen did, uh, they are entitled to retro payments. I was stated this at the last board meeting, and I, my stance on this is still the same. We have many bills on this warrant list that um, are vendors that have done work. I appreciate the passion and things that are done. Uh, similarly, those individuals have worked for four years. They have, at this moment, not been paid their four years of retro payment. So my question is, do we have a date when that is expected? I stated this at the last board meeting. 
that when we negotiate the contract and put it up for a vote, Public Works already know they're not getting their retro until the following year. Um, we then put it up for them to get paid. They have already received an increase in their salaries or in their pay as it relates to whatever the agreement was for the contract. Um, you know, just like I know, that we don't have money to pay uh, retro for them or the police department. So everyone's waiting on retro pay. Thank you. So I will give my stance just so that I'm um, stating it again, and I will state this at every board at every board meeting. If we have money for all these other items, we should have money to pay those those uh, individuals. And it's frustrating to hear. On one hand, we got grants, we got all this other money, and I think this is kind of the 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 haze coming off of the smoke and mirrors. The reality is, if we don't have the money, we don't have the money. We should not keep on incurring more bills, more debt, and piling on to the deficit. Uh, some meetings we come in there and say, okay, you keep on trying to scare residents with big words like deficit. Had another resident tell me, deficits are scary. That's just the reality. So as we sit here, my, so we passed a contract or an agreement that said that these gentlemen will be paid in 90 days. We should not have entered into a contract if we couldn't honor it. So as we're going through these bills, and I really mean this, I will not be approving every bill until these individuals are paid. That's just my vote and where I stand on it. Thank you. All right. For the record. Before she goes on, because who knows for fucking how long she going to talk. Let me just talk about what I just heard. So I, I zoomed in on Stacy because he is the superintendent of public works. And we just heard him get real sassy about vendors not getting paid and him having to dodge the vendors and, and run off from the bill collectors. Where is that sass for his subordinates who are working without their, their market rate, who are four years behind on their market rate, who are owed retro pay? Where is that sass? You sat there and you looked like a fucking turtle in the shell while Jason House talked about your employees who work so hard 24-7 with you getting paid what they're owed. Why don't you care? Because you getting paid. Stacy, you're not going to tell me you're not getting paid. Because you just had all that smoke to blow about vendors, tree cutters, lawn care workers. People doing Christmas lights, making banners for the street with Tiffany's face on them. And who else knows God knows what? You got all in a huff of paloo and said it grinds your gears when you hear about vendors being pulled out. What about your own employees getting their market rate? They are four years behind. Their pay is 12% lower than it should be at this point. That is suable, honey. I guarantee you, if you came to work and your, your paycheck was 12% lower than it should be, you'd be raising a muck. But you're not. You know why? Because when Janice Johnson cut the check, you picked it up from the office. And then where did it go, Stacy? What happened to the money after that, Stacy? These bills that are in your name with your address on them, your phone number. Why aren't you fighting just as hard for your employees to be paid? Make it make sense, Stacy. Maybe when I do your hair, you could tell me. And I'm not going to do it for free because I know you skimming. Listen, here's the other thing. You just heard the mayor of Dalton, Illinois say, we don't have the money to pay. But wasn't it just a couple weeks ago? Oh, we got the money in the bank. Isn't that what she told Brittany Norwood? We got the money. But then when they started, you know, they, here's, how the, here's how the chips fell. It started off with there is no deficit. Then it went to we want to make payment arrangements because that's just how we want to pay. 
Yeah, we want the board to approve one um, one payment of a million dollars, but we're going to break that payment down into eight payments of two hundred and fifty thousand dollars and pay the vendor that way. No, but we got the money. We have the money in the bank to pay. Then, OK, I'm, I'm talking month after month in June. It was there is no deficit in July. We were making payment arrangements. In August, we were arguing about the payment arrangements. Finally, round 9-5-2023, we admit that there is a backlog of expenditures, which has nothing to do with the deficit, and that there are bills that have not been approved by the board. That has nothing to do with the deficit. But what you just said right now, Tiffany Hanger. We do not have money to pay. Well, where the fuck did it go? Because if the bill, if the if the bills are not being approved by the board and they're not paying bills, then why isn't there any money? Tiffany? Keith? Tangini? Janice? Other lady who's smart enough to keep her name out the media? William? Pete, Collins, Lacey, Kim, Scott, can any of you explain if the trustees were not paying, if the, if the reason for the deficit is because the trustees were not approving bills to be paid, then why isn't there enough money to pay these hardworking people their four years of retroactive pay and bump them up to market grade? You're going to tax the hell out of it anyway. And who says you can't use a big word like deficit? How come you not? How come the people don't understand what a deficit is and, and are afraid of it? And, J, and Trustee Jason House said, if we aren't able to pay these people within the 90 days, why are we entering into contracts with them? Stacy and Scott. Keith. Kamal, why isn't Kamal in this meeting? Isn't he the director of the youth department? So why isn't he in this meeting? Why isn't Scott Gilmore in this meeting, the director of maintenance? Y'all are the ones whose names are on the contract. See, what you don't like, Stacy, is that your name is on the bill. So when it comes down to the, the get back from the company, they're coming after you. And you know that. Because you placed the order for them Christmas lights and them banners. Scott, you placed the order for that epoxy for the roller skating rink. And they're coming after Mayor Henry. Lucky you. They're coming after her directly because I'm sure she reached out to them. But your name is on the bill, Scott. Y'all, village department heads, stop entering into contracts for your mayor. Okay? It's not something you're supposed to be doing. Get things approved by the board so they will get paid. If she's telling you that's not the process, she making you look like a fool. Attention residents. I know it's election time for some that wants to be mayor and trustee houses campaigning. Um, he had never had a voice as long as he has sat on his board when I was a trustee with him. And guess what? The thing that we may happen is we put their contract before us, meaning public works and also the police department. Um, prior to that, four years ago, this same problem existed. He could have had the same sentiments, same questions to Mayor Riley. No one ever thought to make them whole, but guess what? You're a mayor, Tiffany Henry. So with that being said, he knows this. He could have said something four years ago, two years ago, one year ago, as it relates to making them whole. They voted to basically approve their contract. And in negotiations, which we said at the board meeting, the lawyers know, the lawyers here that actually negotiated the contract, they know they're not getting the back pay until the following year. Everyone knows that. If that's the case, then why vote for the contract? It was our way of saying, hey, we are with you. We're going to make sure you're complete, meaning it may hold. Give us time. But until then, we're going to make sure that you get an increase in your salary, which the board did not actually figure out what they're going to get the money for to pay the increase in their salary. So if you pay attention to our 
salaries that we pay out every two weeks is basically a half million dollars just about. So where did you get the extra hundred thousand dollar increase to make them whole? Where are we going to find them funds to make sure we can keep up with the increase in payroll? So no one's thinking about any of these things, but everybody talking. Then you want to say, hey, I'm not going to pay any vendors. The vendors are doing the work. What they got to do with that? Nothing. Mm -hmm. The vendors are doing the work. The residents are getting service. Your trees are getting trimmed. Concrete is getting poured. If there is a water main break, they come out and guess who fills the hole? You have EPA issues. You have all kinds of things that actually happen in this village. So for them to sit here and keep saying they're not going to pay somebody because of a contract, trustee house, stop it. Stop politicking up here and take care of the residents and take care of the vendors that actually came and did the work in our time of need. I don't like the fact, and I'm going to repeat, that these trustees sit here and put us in the negative with things because they do not pay people. So a lot of people be afraid to come and do work here at the village because we are known for not paying our vendors. So now you're messing up relationships as though some that builds them, but some of them sticks with us. But some people cannot hold a tab and keep on working every month, every month, every month and spending their money to pay their employees. We have to do what's right. If they do the work, pay them for their work because the residents got that service. And that is what the issue is. Don't try to make it about something other than that. That one vendor got up there and said, y'all want them vacants cut? He cut them down. That's the number one complaint that people call in housing. They live next door to a vanded um, property or vacant, and then they want it trimmed. They want trees gone from around it because they got kids or grandbabies. They out playing. They want nobody pulled up in there. And you too should want that because now we're stopping the squatters. We're stopping all these issues that we get because people just been living in these vacant houses. Little do y'all know. And then you have other areas in town where you got hoarders going on. We had a whole prostitution ring that we busted on trustee Norwood's block. She stayed two, three houses from me. So that's why I be trying to tell y'all. And we got three stolen cars. They was in the garage. These are the blocks they live on, uh, allegedly live on. So all I'm telling you is that we still out here doing our job. Come on, man. Help us. Help the people. Stop getting up here pointing out something that got nothing to do with the other. And let's make the vendors whole because they help us in our time of need. And we still need them to produce for the resident. All right. May I be recognized? I'm, I'm going to speak on what she said first. Thankfully, it wasn't too much. I'm going to start from the back and go to the front. Because <laughs> sometimes that's the way we like it. Um... I heard her talk about a prostitution bus, but when's the last time you did a drug bust in Dalton? Oh, that's your second chance, boys. You're not going to bust them up, huh? And you always talk about who doesn't live in Dalton. You say that none of the trustees live in Dalton, but you keep saying that Brittany Norwood got high grass and she live on the west side. So what you mean she don't live in Dalton? And then you talk about allegedly she lives in Dalton. Either she do or she don't. You can't keep... See, you catching yourself in your own contradictions. You cannot keep berating this woman and saying she doesn't live there and then saying that she's got high grass, which is against an ordinance of the, of the village. Well, what do you mean? Let's talk about the signed checks that were never sent. 30 checks that were never sent out have not been paid. You said the, the villa's got a, a reputation for not paying people. That's because you go out and do street contracts with non-contract non holding niggas. People who don't even have an admin team. You, you just got a man standing up in this meeting saying y'all did a street contract and he ain't been paid. You got 30 checks right now, as of the last meeting, of people who, checks that have been signed but not sent. So let's not talk about the trustees. And you said when it comes to the increase in pay for the public works department and the, um, what is this dumbass shit you want? The bills. What that got to do with that? You can't understand? If you're already in a almost $3 million deficit and your employees are behind on their pay, you just said you ain't got the money. Just stick with you ain't got the money. Don't see. You can't say you ain't got the money and then go blaming and, and what that got to do with that. Where are you going to get the money for it? Well, 
I'm sure they could return some things that you purchased. They can't take your boobs out, I'm sure. They'll probably let you keep the wigs. But I'm sure there are some purchases that can be returned that will help recompense the village of Dalton for the money that you've wasted. Go ahead. Um, I have a couple of questions and maybe Janice uh, or Tangini can answer it. I know that we the reason why she said maybe Janice or Tangini can answer it is because Janice is cutting the checks. Why is the HR director cutting the checks? We have an electronic warrant list, but then on this AP list, there are some items on here that have already been paid with the credit card. So I'm trying to understand why they're on the AP warrant list versus the electronic warrant list. And you want you want to know why, why they're, they're on the AP warrant list and, instead of the electronic warrant list, and they were paid with the credit card. Okay, Janice. Why is the HR director answering this question? Not the finance search. I'm telling you, Tanjanique is taking money home. Tanjanique is taking money home. And she slowed up. That's why she went ahead and got her hair braided. And you can see from the, the progression over the years, these edges are gone, honey. I think there's something wrong with the water in that area because I'm noticing the ladies and the issues with their hair. And it's not just a black thing. I've, I've, I've lived in places where the water was so bad that it tore your hair out. There's something going on with the water in that area because these women are consistently losing their hair. Andrew Holmes is not the only one. But why is Janice Johnson answering the question about the credit cards when she's in HR? Why did Mayor Henyard, Tiffany Henyard, just tell Tangini to answer, I mean, Janice Johnson to answer a question? Janice, you lucky. One of the favorite people on my um, in my life is named Janice Johnson. She had permission to spank me. She was my principal in high school, one of my mama's best friends. You lucky that's your name. That's the only reason I ain't called you a bitch yet. You bitch. But anyway, <laughs> why is why is why is Tiffany telling Janice Johnson to answer this question? Which vendors are you speaking about? Okay, image one um, for $4,726. Um, the balance, it was $2,000 that was paid with the credit card. And then it said it was a balance of $4,726 that is, was paid with the credit card. Then it's uh, Juicy Crab. That was a, a township event in Alabama that was paid with the credit card. And it's on this warrant list. Then is Jim and Nick's barbecue, which was a township event in Alabama, and it was paid with a credit card. Then it was Madison Street Family Restaurant that has no receipt attached to it. And then it was Pete's that was paid a credit card. I'm just asking because I want to know why it's not on the electronic warrant list versus the AP. So you and I know, and hopefully Stan Brown knows now. That the difference between the AP warrant list and the electronic warrant list is how these things have been or will be paid. An electronic warrant list is things that have already been paid by a credit card or ACH. Um, an AP warrant list is bills that need to be paid. Things that haven't been paid yet. Things that will most likely be paid by a manual check. So what Trustee Belcher is asking is why, if you already paid these bills with a credit card, why did you put these on the AP warrant list as if they need to be paid and they haven't been paid already? Okay, and before you answer that, Janet, stop lying, uh, trustee. Oh my God. Uh, what am I lying keep about? Keep saying me? it's a township event. It's not a township event. For the record, anybody that want to go to any conference can go. So stop trying to act like we have in our own events because we do not. Anybody can sign up for a conference and go to it and get educated. Man. So stop doing it. A Tiffany Henry's logic is her issue. Like she's literally talking herself into federal prison. Don't, don't. 
lie to the residents like that. Mayor, when you went to Alabama, was it a town? Did you go as a township supervisor or as the mayor, Dalton? Why are you worry about how I went? It's I'm just question. asking the question. It's discussion. I just asked the it's question. It's discussion, but I don't have to tell you how I went. If it's, okay, not, on, well, if it's not on the list, if, if I don't if know. If it's not on the list, right, because you could have asked me that before, right? If I, you really truly I, it's, want to It's know. discussion now. Okay. So, so here we go. I don't go. Janice, can you answer the question? I don't go anywhere. I'm telling you what to say. From here. Because remember, y'all ain't got the money, right? Make up your mind. Y'all got the money. Do, oh, y'all do. So stop saying township. Okay, okay. I'm so asking that's the why question. I'm correcting you, trustee. That's why I'm correcting you because you got it wrong. That's okay, not so true. did you go as the mayor or did you go as the township supervisor? Again, this ain't no cure and for Tiffany and you. It's discussion. And I just told you. I just asked. Okay. You. Well, nevertheless, so I said I you got it wrong. Do not out. put the township why they're, involved in dog. Why they're, they're on the list. AP warrant list versus the electronic warrant list. So when they're when the warrant lists are compiled. So did you see the fact that Tiffany Henry started an argument with Kiana? Kiana, that's why you got to get out of your emotions. Okay, y'all are awfully Christian, but y'all ain't awfully smart when it comes to this strategy. Do you see that Tiffany Henry just started an argument so she could go out of town and fuck somebody else? Because y'all know niggas do that, right? Did you guys see Tiffany Henry just start an argument with Kiana? To stall the response of the question so that Tangenique, who's not allowed to speak right now, although this is her department, finance, corporate bills is her thing. She scrubbed these bills down and give them to them. But she's whispering to Janice Johnson to tell her what to say while Kiana is wasting her energy arguing with Tiffany Henyard. Uh, Kiana... I hope you see this. I hope you watch this back. I play it back again for you so you can see it. When you ask that woman a question, please do not respond to anything or anyone until you get a response to that question. Don't argue back and forth with her. She did that on purpose. Y'all got to understand when white people went to Africa Africans expected white people to have the same mentality as Africans, and that's why they gave up all their land. You got to understand who you're talking to. Well, I was paying with the credit card, and it's on this warrant list. Then it's Jim and Nick still need them to produce for the warrant list. But then on this AP list, there are some items on here that have already been paid with the credit card. So I'm trying to understand why they're on the AP warrant list versus the electronic warrant list. And you want to you know why, why they're, they're on the AP warrant list in, instead of the electronic warrant list and they were paid with the credit card. Okay. Janice? Now at that moment, there should have been no more discussion with anybody from you, Kiana Belcher, until you got those answers from whoever you, there should have been silence. You got four kids, you know, when you ask that question, there should have been complete silence at that moment and let the room feel as uncomfortable and awkward as it should. While we watch Tangenique whisper to Janice Johnson, I'm just telling you, take it or leave it, but I'm telling you, we, a lot of us have been in these conversations and these issues before, and we're telling you how we got through them. We don't bicker. We don't argue. We just hit that bitch with a bottle. Which vendors are you speaking about? Okay. Image one, um, for $4,726. Um, the balance, it was $2,000 that was paid with the credit card. And then it said it was a balance of $4,726 that is, was paid with the credit card. Then it's uh, Juicy Crab. That was a, a township event in Alabama that was paid with the credit card. And it's on this warrant list. Then it's Jim and Nick's Barbecue, which was a township event in Alabama. And it was paid with a credit card. Then it was Madison Street Family Restaurant that has no receipt attached to it. And then it was Pete's that was paid a credit card. I'm just asking because I want to know why it's not on the electronic warrant list versus the AP warrant list. Okay, and before you answer that, Janet, stop lying, uh, trustee. What um, am I lying keep about? Keep saying me? it's a township event. It's not a township event. For the record, anybody that want to go to any conference can go. So stop trying to act like we have in our own events because we do not. 
Anybody can sign up for a conference and go to it and get educated. Mayor. So stop doing that. Don't don't lie to the residents like that. Mayor, when you went to Alabama, was it a town? Did you go as a township supervisor or as the mayor Dalton? Why are you worry about how I went? I'm just asking the question. It's discussion. I just asked the it's question. It's discussion, but I don't have to tell you how I went. If it's, okay, not, on, well, if it's not on the list, if, if I don't if know, it's not on the list, right? Because you could ask me that before, right? If I, you really truly I, it's, want to it's know. discussion now. Okay, so, so here we go. I don't go, Janice. Can you answer the question? I don't go anywhere. I can't telling you what to say from here because remember, y'all ain't got the money, right? Make up your mind. Y'all got the money. Do oh, y'all do. So stop saying township. Okay, okay. I'm so asking that's the why question. I'm correcting you, trustee. That's why I'm correcting you because you got it wrong. That's okay, so true. did you go as the mayor or did you go as the township supervisor? Again, this ain't no QA for Tiffany and you. It's discussion. And I just told you. I just asked. Okay. You. Well, nevertheless, so I said I you got it wrong. Do not out. put the township why they're, involved in dollars. Why they're on the, the AP warrant list versus the electronic warrant list. So when they're when the warrant lists are compiled. There may have been some that were entered as actual invoices when they were credit cards, but we can get that updated for you and provide you with the uh, updated list. Okay, I just want to know because if we just would have approved it, then they would have cut checks and they was already. No, we wouldn't. We would have. Okay. Called. All right. My next question is: Do we have a tentative budget of any additional expenses for Greenwood project? Is there a budget for this? Who is that for? I, you can answer. Yes, we do. Okay, can you tell me the budget amount? Sure, I'll get you a budget. So you don't know that we're about to spend another forty thousand dollars this month for this Greenwood project? You just asked me and I answered. So you can assume whatever you want. Until I'm not you assuming the budget I'm me, looking on then, the paper. Then you can hold me accountable for the numbers that you're throwing out. I'm not don't assuming anything. Out. I'm just you, reading you on are paper. Assuming. You are assuming. Okay. And then and for then, the record, when we spend money for the Greenwood project, so residents understand it's through grant money. It has I just nothing asked, to do with, you hold on, because I want to clear it up because you guys tell lies. So I want to make sure that they know what line item that come from. And you can see that in my viewpoint. So all your answers are really answered in my viewpoint, but you want to put on the show. So let's go. I'm not putting on the show. I'm you asking are. you a go question. Ahead. If you know it's in my viewpoint, then you answer. Then my last ahead. question was um, the $17,550 for the skates. Mm -hmm. Are those skates for the entire community? Yes, it is. Okay. And where are they located? Why would I tell you that right now? I'm saying, are they in possession of the village of Dalton? Why That's were they asking? You asked the question, I answered. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. No problem. Any more discussion? To see y'all know, the feds are watching. Y'all saw all of that. I ain't got to break none of that down. Kiana, stop arguing with that woman. When you ask her a question, you have to be quiet and wait. See, these are things that we're trying to tell. Go political. Y'all go watch Go Political's video. He really broke it down and gave a great explanation in a much more articulate and less mean way than I say it. Y'all got to get out of your feelings and get out of your emotions. They just played you, Kiana. That all four of them people right here just played you like a fucking fiddle. They just tennis balled you, honey. And gave each other notes and had a whole conversation in front of you. Texted each other and everything, honey. Right before your eyes. Look at Keith, look at Keith's face. Y'all know Keith got that mask on because he don't want nobody taking pictures of him because the state attorney is there right now. I mean, the state um, police are there right now. Yes, ma'am, I have one more comment. Go ahead. Okay, so I'm going to kind of reiterate again because... On one hand, we say we have all this money, and then when it comes time to pay individuals, public works, uh, we also have other individuals who have been approved oh, by this board. Okay. I can throw out a couple of MBD solutions. We've received in the last four months two notices from our health insurance, Blue Cross Blue Shield, that they were behind in paying, and they threatened cutting us off. Also, prior to this recent court decision, congratulations, you won that, but during that time frame, we discovered not enough money. We had to get some bombs. We had to Sorry. borrow some money. We have to change. Know what I saw. We just trim the trees. And then the following month, we're paying them again to cut. Hold on. I accidentally. Damn it. Whatever I did, I didn't mean to do it. My bad.
I think we're right about here. We got all this other money, and I think this is kind of the 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 hate not been paid their four years of retro payments. So my question is, do we have a date when that is expected? That's too far back. Sorry. Well, all these things, including public works payment for the big gentlemen that are doing the hard work, will those be paid immediately? Sorry, y'all. Uh, I think I went in the wrong direction somewhere. I was trying to zoom in and I accidentally pressed the um, seek button. Page 14. Sophia, tamales, and corn, oh, $2,400. heard that bill too many times. $600,000 just sounds like a... I know where we are. Hold on. Oh, Lord. Stan and Brown got to talk. Be their opinion. Gotcha. Okay. So, and I'm going to say this. is no need to go back. Bear with me, y'all. Don't need to cut down, but. Bear with me while I get us back to where we were. I think we have items on here that have already been paid with the credit card. So I'm trying to understand why they're on the AP warrant list versus the electronic warrant list. This might be a good time to watch this volleyball happen again. You want, you want to know why, why they're, they're on the AP warrant list in, instead of the electronic warrant list and they were paid with the credit card. Okay. Janice? Which vendors are you speaking about? Okay, image one um, for $4,726. Um, the balance, it was $2,000 that was paid with the credit card. And then it said it was a balance of $4,726 that is, was paid with the credit card. Then it's uh, Juicy Crab. That was a, a township event in Alabama that was paid with the credit card. And it's on this warrant list. Then is Jim and Nick's barbecue, which was a township event in Alabama, and it was paid with a credit card. Then it was Madison Street Family Restaurant that has no receipt attached to it. And then it was Pete's that was paid with a credit card. I'm just asking because I want to know why it's not on the electronic warrant list versus the AP warrant list. Okay, and before you answer that, Janet, stop lying, uh, trustee. What am I lying um, about? Keep saying it's a township event. It's not a township event. For the record, anybody that want to go to any conference can go. So stop trying to act like we have in our own events because we do not. Anybody can sign up for a conference and go to it and get educated. Mayor, so stop doing that. Don't don't lie to the residents like that. Mayor, when you went to Alabama, was it a town? Did you go as a township supervisor or as the mayor, Dalton? Why are you worried about how I went? I'm just asking the question. It's discussion. I just asked the it's question. It's discussion, but I don't have to tell you how I went. If it's, okay, not, on, well, if it's not on the list, if, right. I, if I don't if know. If it's not on the list, right, because you could have asked me that before, right? If I, you really I, truly I, it's it's discussion now. Okay. So, so here we go. I don't go. Janice, can you answer the question? I don't go anywhere. I'm me telling you what to say. From here. Because remember, y'all ain't got the money, right? Make up your mind. Y'all got the money. Do Oh, y'all do. So stop saying township. Okay, event. okay. I'm so asking that's the why question. I'm correcting you, trustee. That's why I'm correcting you because you got it wrong. That's okay, so true. did you go as the mayor or did you go as the township supervisor? Again, this ain't no Q and A for Tiffany and you. It's discussion. And I just told you. I just asked. Okay. You. Well, nevertheless, so I said I you got it wrong. Do not put the township why they're, involved in dollar. Why they're on the, the AP warrant list versus the electronic warrant list. So when they're when the warrant lists are compiled. There may have been some that were entered as actual invoices when they were credit cards, but we can get that updated for you and provide you with the uh, updated list. Okay, I just want to know because if we just would have approved it, then they would have cut checks and they was already. No, we wouldn't. We would have. Okay. Called. All right. My next question is: Do we have a tentative budget of any additional expenses for Greenwood project? Is there a budget for? Do y'all see Keith texting uh, Janice? Y'all, that's why these meetings are, are on the record and recorded. You see T Keith texting Janice, right? Watch Keith and watch Checks Janice. and they was already. They like no, we wouldn't. We would have okay. All right. My next question is, do we have a 10? Keith picks up his phone. Watch Janice pick up her phone in the next few moments. Tip budget of any additional expenses for Greenwood project. Is there a budget 
for this? Who is that for? I, you can answer. Yes, we do. Okay, can you tell me the budget amount? Sure, I'll get you a budget. So you don't know that we're about to spend another forty thousand dollars this month for this Greenwood project? You just asked me and I answered. So you can assume whatever you want. And I'm so not you assuming the budget anything. I'm me, looking on then, the paper. Then you can hold me accountable for the numbers that you're throwing out. I'm not I'll assuming anything. Out. I'm just you, reading. You on are paper. assuming. You are assuming. Okay. And then and for then, the record, when we spend money for the Greenwood project, so residents understand, it's through grant money. It has I just nothing asked, to do with. Did you hold have on, because I want to clear it up. Because you guys tell lies. So I want to make... Y'all, Tiffany is about to talk herself into jail. Listen very closely. Be sure that they know what line I'm going to come from. And you can see that in my viewpoint. So all your answers are really answered in my viewpoint. But you want to put on the show. So let's go. I'm not putting on the show. I'm you asking you a question. Ahead. If you I'm know answering. it's in my viewpoint, then you answer. Then my last Sorry. question was... Um, the seventeen thousand five hundred and fifty dollars for the skates are those did you hear her say all the funds that are paying for greenwood falls are coming from grants then why can't anyone from the village of dalton access that property without tiffany henyard being present skates for the entire community yes it is okay and where are they located why would i tell you that right now I i'm saying are they in possession of the village of dalton why That's would they be? asking you asked the question i answered Okay. All right. Thank you so much. No problem. Any more discussion? Yes, ma'am. Can I have one more comment? Go ahead. Okay. So I'm going to kind of reiterate again because on one hand, we say we have all this money, and then when it comes time to pay individuals, public works, uh, we also have other individuals who have been approved oh, okay. by this board. Okay. I can throw out a couple of MBD solutions we've received in the last four months two notices from our health insurance, Blue Cross Blue Shield, that they were behind in paying and they threatened cutting us off. Also, prior to this recent court decision, congratulations, you won that. But during that time frame, we discovered five different instances where the village of Dalton were overdrawn on the bank accounts. These are real concerns. If we have the money. Five different instances where the village of Dalton was overdrawn. Now, I told you uh, last time, a deficit is like when you look at your bank account and there's not enough money there and you owe the bank. The deficit ain't got nothing to do with the bills you owe. You could have a light bill, mortgage bill, water bill, car insurance bill sitting on your table right now. And that ain't got nothing to do with a deficit. A deficit is about how much money you have. She's been holding on to this lie for a very, very long time. And the vendors had to tell it. Now, you heard J Trustee Jason House just say they've had five instances where the account, the op, oh my God, how are you a city with an overdrawn bank account? Can you imagine? This is the account you pay your payroll out of, you pay your health insurance out of, you pay the leases for your vehicles out of. All the mortgage payments and escrow refunds come out of. This is also the same account your grants go into. So when your grants go into those accounts, your grants are going in and the account is eating up the grant money. We call that hustling backwards where I come from. Robbing Peter to pay Paul. She doing broke nigga games. I guarantee you her own life looks exactly the same. She wouldn't have to steal from the village if she was paying her own bills out of her own salary. I guess my question then would be, uh, if approved, will all these things, including public works payment for the gentlemen that are doing the hard work, will those be paid immediately? I just answered that and the attorney just said, you spoke already, so I should move on because you're just repeating the same thing. And you already know the answer as it relates to public works. So that is the answer. And you was on the bank account, sir. You were. You and Clerk Key was on the bank account. So all that action or blaming stop. You guys had control of it. You knew the day to day. You knew the amount. A lie. A lie, a lie, a lie. While Jason House and Clerk Key were on the bank account, the administrative access was given to Janice Johnson, Tanjanique Miller, and Keith Freeman. They were moving money in and out of that account 
making withdrawals, writing checks, doing wire transfers. All while Jason and Clerk Key were able to see the account, those three were in the account doing shit. These three right here, these three were moving money around. So let's stop with the whose name was on the bank account and who was actually moving money around. That's an account you guys had control over the complete bank account. So moving on. Anybody else for discussion? Yeah, ma'am. Go ahead. So the, the, the concern is the, the budget for these these projects. No one is against getting trees cut. The problem is when we see, and, and that's why I say, I know you said that we do RFPs. Yes, the engineer department does RFPs, but anyone who's attended these meetings haven't heard of an RFP being presented in a whole entire year and a half. So when we ask, we're asking because it's a concern. When I look at this warrant list, we have $352,105 on tree trimming just on this warrant list. But yet we have John Pros who come to us and say, well, he's giving you a quote of $2.6 million to cut every tree down in the village. So these are real concerns. Trees have two, two very important reasons why they are here. One, we need them for oxygen. And two, they assist with the flooding. So when we say, okay, what, how are we going about cutting the trees? When you drive around a village, I notice we, we're, cut, we're paying these companies money to trim the trees. And then the following month, we're paying them again to cut the tree down. So now we're double dipping. We're paying them twice. So when you as a trustee, you constantly say, where is the tree list? Where is the tree list? But when we ask about the tree list, there's a, a big stink. And all we're doing is asking questions. That's why we have discussion. If we have a cow meeting, these RFPs, again, will be presented. We'll all know how much we're paying these vendors, and it won't be a surprise. If the ordinance state, okay, you say it states $20,000, up to $20,000, you don't need board approval. Well, we have $602,000, $602,105 in trees from August to October. So the question is, okay, when is it, is it after, if this is approved, then do we do another 600? Are we doing $350,000 a month in trees? Just tell us what we're doing. Bring the RFPs in front of us so that we know. It's not a concern with paying the, the, for the trees. The concern is how are we paying these people and are we being overcharged? Are we, why are we paying them to trim and then paying them to cut it down? So that's a concern. And then the reason why the whole Greenwood Road Avenue or Greenwood is being discussed is because when you see this, I know they say grants, 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 but yet this is coming from the general budget. So where are the grants? When I look and see 130,000 for epoxy floor for the skate rink, mm -hmm. yes, it looks nice, but can we afford it? So when we're spending, all we're asking is that you bring the spending in front of us, not just us as a board. At this point, we're used to not receiving information, but bring it in front of the residents so that they their questions are answered so that when they see Raul and John Pros, they know exactly who's cutting and exactly how much we are paying them. It will be public knowledge. It doesn't have to be a secret. Every time we ask a question, it's a big production. If we could just get our questions answered and if we have the cow meet, we can ask them without all the frustration and all the tension. So moving forward, I'm hoping that we can do our piece so that we know exactly what vendors are getting compensated what work they are doing are we is this a beautification project where we're just cutting down trees in the entire village or is are we cutting down just the ones that the residents have fallen on their home because when i look at a six hundred two thousand dollar invoice it's their questions okay how many trees are we go, how often are we going to do this are we going to do this every month are we going to do rfps every month can you just Tell us that so that we don't have to be surprised every time we see a warrant list. Thank you. Mayor, can I be recognized? Yes, go ahead. Uh, trustee, uh, to answer some of your questions, there is a backlog of about 10 years for emergency cut downs in this community, uh, let alone the storms that come through this community. Uh, 
every tree is not the same depending on what happened whether it fell during a storm or it's dying or diseased we also have a high number of diseased trees in the community the asian longhorn beetles in this community as well as termites so a good percent of these trees are emergency cut downs and it is a backlog of uh, about 10 years on these cut downs and when it is emergency related uh we do not have to do certain things for emergencies. So I hopefully that answered your question. So 600. Well, my question is, how come you ain't had nothing to say about the raise for your people? Thousand and trees is not as was I said, I said a percentage. Okay, so I'm explaining to you that this is six hundred and two thousand dollars mm -hmm. in three months. That average is about two hundred thousand dollars in trees. I'm not going to argue with you because you're the expert. But all we're saying is, if you, I'm not a tree expert, I'm just giving you an example. Okay. Well, I know that you you you, you, you spoke <laughs> up, so I'm saying to you again. My concern is if we do the RFPs, we know when I go and I drive around, I see trees that are cut down that are healthy. So we're cutting down trees that we don't need to cut down. Then I've went over some and I see they're cutting the trees that we don't need to cut down. But then there's trees right next to it where they do need to be cut down. So all I'm saying is, again, if you bring the tree list, we'll all know. The tree, the tree list won't answer all of okay. the questions because, again, neither one of us are tree specialists. But exactly. if there was exactly. uh, a disease with the tree, I didn't I didn't disrupt you, trustee. If there was something wrong with the tree or a disease with the tree, uh, it would be identified by the tree companies. And then we would be notified and give the OK if that tree had to go down instead of letting. So y'all are actually letting a company tell you how much money you need to spend. You're not getting a second opinion. You don't have anybody on staff who can who can make these decisions. You're just paying what is on the bill. My God. The disease spread rampant, which is also causing us more money in insurance claims for falling I trees. I tell you, this town got floods, gas leaks, waterfalls, uh, earthquakes, tree diseases. That's the mandate of heaven. She don't need to be there. It's I mean... 10 years of trees that need to be cut down <laughs> come on y'all cars and houses and uh in some cases people okay so question for you who because normally when i go in towns i see like exes or they have a third party that comes uh -huh. in and scope out the work and say hey because you said it's a backlog so it's a backlog then that means there should be a list so if there's a list all we're saying is present it to us so so we know because the list is already in effect obviously it is a backlog but Thank not you. only that the whole thing is, again, which tree, who's going out? Do we have a third party? Look, y'all see this comment. Somebody said, FaceTime the tree. I'll talk to it. <laughs> are we just letting, are we just telling me? Them? I am the, I just said it earlier in my report. Okay. I'm walking up every street and looking at every tree, sewer, at anything you can think of in this neighborhood. I've looked at it. Gotcha. So I go up down every street. Some of these residents can contest to that. And I personally, not my staff, nobody. I personally go and mark the trees. And then if I have any questions, I ask the tree professionals about the question and they give me their opinion. Gotcha. Okay. So, and I'm going to say this, is no need to go back and forth with you. Again. No, we're just having a discussion, no, trustee. I, I don't know. If we're paying $600,000, we should be able to know exactly what trees are being cut. The healthy ones shouldn't be cut. And the ones that need to be remediated, it should be done. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. If we bring the RPs again, it, it doesn't take long. We can, we have a half a cow meat. We're supposed to have a cow meat, even if you identify them. It's nothing wrong with you saying, "Hey, guys, I walk through the village." You know, I get it. I get that. Of trees, mm -hmm. I'm going to present it to the board. It's a quick email. Hey, these are the trees that really needs to be done. Let's prioritize the spending. That's all I'm saying. Six hundred thousand just sounds like a ridiculous amount for three months. For a municipality, that's not. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And for the record, we got to get things done. All the back and forth that you guys are never going to pass anything or come to another meeting and sit here like this to go back and forth over paying people that we owe the money to. Have a cow meeting to do what? Sit here for hours away from my family, our loved ones, all these people. She said have a cow meeting to do what? It's called the committee of the whole. The cow meeting is where you flush out the bills and the invoices and the credit card statements and the plans and the bids and the RFPs. What do you mean? Have a, you just kept people here for two hours and five minutes while you scratched your ass and gave it to them to kiss. But you got a question about a cow meeting? Oh, you know you hide money. Got family up here, but we sitting here in the residence too. 
sitting here going back and forth on should we pay a vendor that actually did the work in our town or which tree you cut or is this tree healthy and we know the experts to that your area we went down and did the entire west side entire west side so now no brian phillips says something important something i said dalton needs a procurement department i'm like who is who is making these decisions janice johnson and tangenique miller where is the procurement department that's determining whether or not the purchase is aligned with the budget, aligned with the purpose? How do you got to call about a tree? Not a soul. We just skipped not one house. And if a resident came out, had a problem with sewer problems or whatever the issue was, that's what he's alluding to, telling you that he went and he handled all of that. Literally. But everybody was happy when no house missed. So now that area is completely done. Now you move to another segment of the town and you do the same exact thing because it's been neglect for years. The trees have never been pruned or cut, trim, maintenance, nothing. They literally falling all in the street. Or if you park your car, the tree is on your car. That's bad. You can't even see the light. Like some areas when we cut on the west side where you stay, we cut back the trees. It lit the whole block up. They don't even need them. Now she said on the west side where you stay, but she constantly telling them they don't live in Dalton. Okay. Like they just needed the trees trim. So everyone's happy. Everyone's happy about those type of things. Instead of we gotta keep going through all these, okay, what about this? Or what, what okay, if this healthy, is that wrong? Like, come on, people just want services. As long as they're doing the work, let's get it done. And all I'm asking you guys to do is just support. So we don't have to be shut up. She can't even be nice when she's trying to be manipulative. Look, Dan M at the bottom says, wow, she got you, Stacy, for fraud. And that's the truth. That's the truth. That's the truth. It's this long. So we can't get through our town and fix it. Because at least y'all got somebody that's active and out there doing the work. All you guys got to do is just come and show up at a board meeting. They go do all the work. The department heads, the ones that y'all beat up, drag on the internet, put on Facebook, talk about their families like they not family members. So all I'm saying is like that ain't cool, man. What is Let, she let's about? fix it because we are the elected officials. So, so let's fix it. So what's actually the the matter of discussion is the bills and these bills that don't make no motherfucking sense. But I don't know where she go talking about talking about people and treating them like family and being on Facebook. Lord Jesus. Go ahead, trusty. I like to add uh, to that. Um, I like to say uh, we're not. I have seen them out there. Trust me, they're not trimming the tree and coming back and cutting it down. They right. got too much work to do double work in a short length of time. And also, so is he saying Brittany Norwood is lying? A lot of the trees that's being cut. Some of these residents themselves are paying contractors to, to cut trees down. So these are not all uh, village uh, contractors. You got some residents that's paying out of their own pocket to get some of these trees cut down because these trees, if you see a tall tree, just imagine how long the roots are. They, they're <clears throat> messing up an uh, individual uh, piping system. So residents are paying themselves. They're getting trees cut down in the back as well as in the front. Because the roots, What's not that the tree is is a dead. What is he referring to? What is he reading? Why is he acting like <clears throat> like his throat is fucked up so that he can get a chance to get his words together? Who told him to talk? Because I thought his specialization was the grass and the mices and the seniors. Now he know about the trees too. But what about the finances, Stan Brown? Tree, the tree is just too big. That's in front of the house in the parkway. It's cracking the sidewalks and it's messing up their pipe. So you got residents that actually spending money also on getting those trees trimmed. All right. That's the motion and second. <coughs> Please call her on. Trustee Norwood. No. Trustee Stanley Brown. Yes. Trustee House. No. Trustee Holmes. Yes. Trustee Belcher. No. Motion All for nothing. All right, so are we paying any bills tonight, guys? I just need yes, to know so we can move have an on. Motion. Okay, go ahead. Okay, I motion to pay the bills as read with the following um, removals from the warrant list. Uh, page four, DD's discounts, $918.81. Page five, discount. DD's discounts, 918 You know what that is? You know DD's. 
the little uh, TJ Maxx Ross type store. You know what that money was? Oh, that was back to school clothes for her daughter and possibly herself, maybe her mama. That's what that was. And some toys. Since $27,846, page six, existing concrete, $14,123.03. Page six, five star, $57,625. Page six, four heating and air conditioning, $10,000, $10,700. Page seven, imagine one, $4,726. Page eight, Jim. Jim and Nick's Barbecue, one hundred fifty-seven dollars twenty-two cents. Page eight, John's Pro Tree Services, one hundred fifty-five thousand. Page eight, Juicy Crab, three hundred sixty-two dollars twenty-eight cents. Page eight, K and M Ventures, one hundred fifty-seven thousand one hundred fifty dollars. Page nine, Lopez Lawn Maintenance, ten thousand fifty dollars. Page nine, Madison Street Family Restaurant, one hundred forty-one dollars sixty-one cents. Page eleven, Pete's Fresh Market, two hundred twelve dollars ninety-seven cents. Page 12, Pekarski and Sons, $27,155. Page 12, Prestige Maintenance Services, $22,255. Page 13, Raul and Sons, one hundred six. I heard him say imaginary ones. That's an NFT. Who's buying NFTs with village money? $9,950. Page 14. Who do you think of this whole squad would be the one to purchase an NFT and try to charge it to the game? Keith Freeman. Sophia Tamales and Corn, $2,400. Page 14. Starter Heating and Cooling, $11,500. Page 14. Thank Me Later, $520. Page 15. Two J Sheet Metal Works, $58,750. Page 16, West Side Tractor Sales, $17,850.62. And page 16, White Coal Pool Solutions, $9,816. Uh, my motion is to approve the bills with Wait the file. Hold on. I got to hear that again. 15, 2J Sheet Metal Works, for $69,950. Page 14, Sophia Tamales and Corn, $2,400. Page 14, Starter Heating and Cooling, $11,500. Page 14, thank me later, $520. Page 15. $520 at thank me later? That's a makeup company. Well, she do need it, but goddamn. So she got Brandon billing the makeup to the village. Since when does my makeup artist bill me for the makeup he uses? Come on, somebody. 2J Sheet Metal Works, $58,750. Page 16, West Side Tractor Sales, $17,850.62. And page 16, White Coal Pool Solutions, $9,816. Uh, my motion is to approve the bills with the following items removed. Second. All right. Is See, and when she talks about vendors being pulled, and when Stacy talk about vendors being pulled, they don't say nothing about the makeup and the barbecue and the NFTs and the bullshit. There a second. Second. Okay. So it's been motion and a second. And residents, this is my prime example of why things don't move in our village and why um, vendors be upset with people not paying. He might as well just didn't pay any of the bills. He didn't call off the whole bills list. And for the record, I keep telling them. If so they what she just confessed to you when she said he just called off the whole bills list. He named about seven or eight vendors. So if that's the majority of the bills list, that means she's spending a lot. She's attempting to spend a lot of taxpayers money on bullshit, barbecue, NFTs, makeup, tree cutting services, $150,000 really to cut trees, maybe 20, maybe 50, maybe 80, but 150 and then you see she was quoted 2.3 million. That's what she was actually quoted. She ain't said that yet. But she want to make it sound like the trustees, the reason for the deficit is because the trustees won't pay the bills. We already talked about the definition of a deficit back when the sun was still up. But here we are and we see when these bills get broken down. Exactly what 
She said that was a majority of the warrant list, the AP warrant list. But that was some bullshit. So obviously she's taking, attempting to take a whole lot of money. Y'all, we just about done with this shit. Learn what it is they should be doing, which is... Our authority is what, trustee house? You putting out two hundred dollars and a hundred and something dollars. You don't have authority to remove stuff like that. If if my authority is five thousand, his authority twenty thousand, twenty five, whichever the number is. How you pulling out the smallest little bill of a hundred something dollars? That's just you being petty. Okay. And then, right? Okay. If he don't have the authority, because you know God put her in place. You know we talked about that hours ago. God put her in place. But he has the authority to take the bills out, a <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Remember we had that explosion here in the village of Dalton when the water tank blew up? He took that out. How does it get fixed? All I can do is just point out the things that I keep telling y'all. But where's the invoice? Where's the RFP? Where's the conversation around the bill? Where's the negotiation with the vendor? Where is any of that? You could settle with that vendor for less than what they're charging you. You do know, oh, you don't know how to buy a car, so never mind. So if you don't have water, that's why our reservoir is our water sits. We have to fix that. That's number one. Number two, we put a gate up. It came right out. Speaking of water, y'all, I know we've been here for a very long time staring at her bottle of Fiji. If you do need some water, because I know we've been here for a very, very long time. If you would just raise your hand, I have somebody bring you around a water, a Perrier, Pellegrino. We'll probably even throw some champagne in there. It ain't on your dime. It's on mine. So just let me know what you need. Raise your hand and we'll get to you. Thank you for hanging in there. We are almost out of here. We had our emergency. This is my point of relationships. When you have an emergency, you call somebody out and they come without payment and they give us the service we need to pay them the money but they seem to think we shouldn't pay them but they did the service already in our time and so now what do you do so the concrete didn't fall on nobody somebody had to secure it because we we don't do that that ain't what we do up here but this is my point that i keep trying to make to y'all you can't keep not paying vendors other than that y'all gonna have to do cod with everything we do here because ain't nobody gonna trust that we're gonna pay them their money in two weeks or a month nobody's gonna try i'm gonna remind y'all what cod means from back in the day cash on delivery that means pay me what you owe me when i do the work but i don't know why these <laughs> never mind trust it but yet come to another meeting to do this same thing for what nothing's getting done with them nothing so let's take a look at something here. I'm going to let her talk, but I'm going to zoom in right here while she's talking. And it's sad that everybody can sit here and vote for something like that and be okay with not paying people. That much, I don't know how y'all pay y'all bills. I don't. i never seen this ever in my life. You still got to pay your bills. Other than that, your lights off, your gas off, your water off, if you don't pay. So what's making us any different? We, are, we the village. All I can do is just keep explaining this to y'all, hoping that somebody would have a change of heart and say, you know what, we're going to pay. I'm telling you that we want to fix the pool. I'm telling you the pool for the open, but you don't want to make sure they got the right chemicals in it. You want to take that out. Why? Why can't we fix it and give back to the kids? Why can't y'all swim for free? Why? These are things y'all should ask yourselves because all that, all that stuff he just named was important things that people don't even know because he just reading off. But I just named a couple things that's really important that we're working on right now. So why are you stopping it? We got teams coming to fix the, the water tank right now. So it's just going to stay like that forever. We ain't never going to fix it. So then something else happened and the other tank blow up. Now where do we get our water from? These are all important things. But yet they think it's funny guys to sit here and take people out. We need certain vendors to help us in our time of need when we can just pick up a phone and call. Them people came out at literally 5, 6 in the morning. Do y'all see what I'm zooming in on? Are you able to see that clearly? Are you? That's a Cartier bracelet. Depending on what's on that bracelet, I don't, it doesn't look like it has diamonds. It looks like it has pearls. But that bracelet is about fifty thousand dollars. I'm not lying. Depending on it, whether you know what she got on it. What she's wearing right now is a very expensive piece of jewelry. You want to know where the money went? 
She's wearing it. You will never get that money back. Check her boobs. Check her abs. Check her hips. Check her fingers. Check her bracelets. Check her face. Check her hair. She's wearing the money. You will never find that cash. She's going to the feds with it. That Cartier bracelet is between, if I remember correctly, thirty and fifty thousand dollars. Unless she got it from like one of the one of the authenticated uh, resale places, like DH Lux or the Real Real, she might have got it then for about maybe twenty thousand. But I doubt that. She's not smart enough to shop like that. Let somebody else pay it and buy it from the store and then resell it later after they get left by their husband and they need to sell something to pay the bills. That's how I get my luxury goods. When your husband decides to leave you for the doggone receptionist and you have to sell your Louis Vuitton bags to pay the bills, I buy them from the authenticated resellers. I love you, Louis, but it's very rare that I buy a brand new Louis Vuitton or piece of jewelry. Very rare. Because they don't change styles or designs. They make the same bags every year and charge more and more for them. So why not buy it resale? I've had the same Louis Vuitton bags for 10, 15 years that I bought resale. Been all over the way, all over the place with them, through airports and everything. They ain't never busted up. But I ain't spending tax mayors, payers' money on them. This is my money. Because I'm spending my money, I have to buy a lot smarter. And I'm not paying $12,000 for a piece of luggage when I can get it for less. But this Cartier bracelet we see on her hand, the wig on her head, the makeup, the nose job, the fillers, the Botox, the breast job, the tummy tuck, the BBL, the suit. That's where the money is, honey. That's where the money's going. Y'all just heard her try to spend $918 from Dee Dee's discounts for school clothes for her daughter and probably a couple of her um, family members. $918 at Dee Dee's discounts. Now, my ex-girlfriend took my daughter in Dee Dee's discounts and said, go crazy. And I think she might have spent $300 with toys and, 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 and uh, clothes. Poor girl. 2 a.m. Uh, Tony Preckwood will go send her people out. But we're not Tony, paying the people that's coming. Tony Preckwinkle is her protector. But again, I asked Tony Preckwinkle, who's protecting you? Hmm? Well, we really need them in our crisis. Why would they do it? You just messed that whole relationship up. We a village. We're not a regular person where you got to go do a COD, but now the village got to do that? Come on now. you rather mess up our credibility and our name off of political infight. I that you need to put. she's not talking about the 30 checks that were signed but never sent. The vendors that weren't paid. The, the freaking, they said they put all the leases on the ACH. Well, then why didn't the cars get paid for? Why was the bank account overdue five times? Five times. She ain't even been in office a good two years yet at this point. I'm sorry, two and a half years at this point. Five times her bank account has been overdrawn in the last two and a half years. And when we talk about overdrawn, we talking about by the millions. We ain't talking about a $2.50 and a $35 overdraft. No, we talking about some hundreds of thousands of millions of billions. Let me let her finish to the side because the residents matter first safety matters first things that you gonna need later and something happen all they gonna do who they gonna point at everybody when they do the news they say the mayor's office mayor office got nothing to do with this this is all the trustees they the one stopping progress they the one not paying people they the one why that gentleman came up here and said pay me but they keep taking people out the gentleman that came up and said pay me said he talked to the mayor out in the field, which means they probably met up somewhere kicking it. He did the work, charged $450,000 to cut down trees, but he don't have no contract. 
He never came before the board. He was never approved by the board. She just be slick talking. Colorado. Colorado. I know she did not want to put a piece of candy in her mouth in the middle of a fucking uh, a, a government board meeting. I know she did not just open up a piece of candy and toss it in her mouth. How tacky. And how is that water still cold, Keith? Trustee, call a lot of things. I, I didn't get lost. He said the trustees, you trustees cause a lot of things. I done got lost. No, nah, nigga, you got lost because you're not in this conversation. I'm not lost. Are y'all lost? Y'all know where they are in the conversation. You know that right now they are voting on the bills with the following items removed. $2,856 for Salcedas, Toritas, and Tamales. $918 for DDs. I mean, we don't know. St Sam don't stand Sam. Stay Sam must be talking about me. Stan don't know what's going on right now. You're the finance chair. So their conversation about the bills through you are the deflector. You are the blame shifter of the century. Nobody should allow their child to grow up and behave this way where they can't take responsibility for their own incompetence. Because that's how we grow. I lost track somewhere in there because I literally fall asleep while I'm sitting here and y'all are talking because I'm not a finance director and I don't get excited till we start talking about grass and mices. Just say it, Stan. You're incompetent. You have no business in this role. I don't, y'all, you trustees, you just call so much. I, I, this is how people raise their children. They blame their kids for all the things. You trustees, you you just talk so much. I lost my place. Nigga, you don't know what's going on. I know, and I vote no. Is, is there a possibility everybody on here? Yeah, so. mm -hmm. What are we going to do when we don't pay these people? Hmm. The issue is that I don't know. I get a deficit. Yeah, we don't stand a deficit. You stand a deficit, we don't pay these Stan Brown doesn't even know the definition of a deficit, but he's the chair of the finance committee. He literally believes that the deficit is because they're not approving to pay bills. Somebody give Stan the definition of a deficit. So we we don't we have people that we've already approved, already been approved, still not getting their checks. Those people need to be taken care of first. I'm not even going to beat my drum again about the public works employees. So I think we take care of our old stuff first, and then we start moving, moving on to these. Um, it was mentioned in here, we don't even have a budget right now, and we're spending thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars into the millions without a budget. $2.8 million in the deficit today, this fiscal year, $2.5 million in deficit last year. And I respect your point of view or your opinion in terms of the bonds. Other communities don't have to take out bonds. They have surpluses. They have reserves. So I'm uh, I'm opposed to that. Yeah, I, South uh, South Holland, right up the street. The same communities we talk about, we want to mimic, don't have deficits. And I want to deprogram that that concept that government runs off deficit. It doesn't. It doesn't. Poorly managed governments run on deficits. We have not taken out a. Um, we haven't taken out a bond since 2009, trustee. Yeah. All those things. So, but to answer your question, and I appreciate it, I, I genuinely feel you come from a, a good place. So I want to make sure I'm giving you that same respect, or I hope I'm doing so. Um, my concerns are that we don't have the money. We're piling more, more debt on top of stuff that's already not being paid. So my suggestion is let's actually approve a budget let's pay our past due stuff and then work to address this current these current items but i do appreciate what your your question now let me jump in here because he said a whole lot and i'm grateful to trustee jason house for having the patience to school stan brown on how finance works in government we already talked about the fact that local governments do not run on a deficit that actually triggers a huge audit 
But I want to talk about this deficit because he said 2022, the deficit was 2.5. Currently in October 2023, there's a second, because remember the deficit is a yearly number. Okay, the deficit isn't a cumulative or aggregate number. The deficit is a yearly number. So this year, they're at a deficit of 2.6. Last year, they had a deficit of 2.5. That means as it sits right now on October 5th, 2023, they have a deficit of $5.1 million. And today, Tanjneek Miller, you got the motherfucking gall to turn your face up and say they don't know what they're talking about when they estimate the deficit to be at seven based on the trending numbers, finance director, if you're averaging a deficit of $2.5 million a year, which 5.1 divided by two is 2.55, bitch. You take that 5.1 that you're already at in October and you add another 2.5 to that, that's 7.6. Ho? So why wouldn't they think there's a $7 billion deficit right now? Based on the trend of a $2.5 million deficit every year since 2022, it makes sense that in 2024, you would be at a 7.5. Six million dollar deficit. How come you can't see that? And that's just their estimate based on the trend, because these people are smart enough to they, they do this for a living. They run major bu budgets that have surpluses. So they're used to working with these numbers. Stan Brown. They specialize in these numbers. They don't have to scrub down no bills. They can look at these numbers. I just showed you Tanjneek where they got $7.6 million as their estimate. You going to tell me they wrong based on the trend? Quit playing with these people. Are you down, Justin? Yeah. Yep. May I be recognized, ma'am? Oh. Okay, go ahead. You know, there's a there's an off office in a conference room over there. There's an office in the conference room over there. We should go downstairs to the basement and sit at the table and hash these things out. Been used before we got to this point hmm. to address all the issues. And I do believe every vendor and everyone that did work here should be paid simply because if a person is hungry, what? you need food. What? These people get up, come to work. You know, what, what, what are you going to say? What are we going to say if we don't get this water fixed over there? We're going to be hauling in water and begging people for bottles of water. We should do what we're supposed to do and what we got elected for. Let's just. Y'all look at Stay Focused Media at the bottom. He said, oh, OMG, what is he talking about? Absolutely. Like literally. Tiffany or, or, or I guarantee you, let me think, who was it? It was probably Keith texted him and told him to talk shit for a few minutes. Pay these people, move on, and just continue to do the work that we got to do. I mean, Dalton is on the rise. You see the work that has been done out here. You see public works out here. You see the police out here. You see concre ooh, ooh. concrete vendors. Why he get nervous when he said the police? Stan Brown, you feeling guilty five months after raping somebody? Out here. You, you see the work that's being done. It ain't like the work is not being done. I mean. Sorry, not Stan Brown. <laughs> Andrew Holmes, Mr. Puddin' Pop. We need to just sit down, work together and pay these people. We don't need to be on and get interest on money and we worrying about a deficit. Let's just take care of what we got at hand here. I mean, concrete, trees, the work is being done, and like I stated, and I'll state again, there's a conference room over there. Everybody has the phone numbers. Where's the tra transparency there and communicating? But it always until we get here. And you know it's a roadblock when we get here. But there's not a roadblock when it's time to issue them paychecks out.
for us as individuals and taxpayers are paying for us. So we need to do what we have to do to keep this village moving. Pay the vendors. I'm done. Mayor Matthew, record. All right, there's been motion and a uh, second. Please call her off. Huh? Go ahead, call her off. Hello? That's her. Trustee Norway, the amended uh, motion Aye. to pay the bills. We're taking all those vendors out. I think Tiffany's crack or cocaine is wearing off. She getting tired. You can tell. It's good. She do have a limited bandwidth. That's good to know. Trustee Norwell. Aye. Um, the so the warrant list had I want to say approximately eighteen pages. All vendors, with the exclusion, and I'll I'll give the number of five vendors: two, four, six, eight. 10, 12, 10, 16, 18. There's 21 vendors I'm seeing on the on this list here. So all vendors with the exception of those read into record. May I be recognized just for clarity? Um, as I stated by our first discussion, some of those which Mr. Johnson said that would be updated that he read off was items that have already been paid with a credit card. So those items have been paid with a credit card already. So they're just being removed off of this list. Um, so I just want to make that clear. And also, um, I don't understand how we sit here and keep saying that there's no deficit and we every time we get to the board meeting when it's time for corporate bills that's when everything go left um i know i would like to ask miss johnson but i'm sure she's been told not to say how many checks she actually have sitting on her desk that haven't even been sent out yet so we paid we had approval of four million dollars two months ago and it's probably still two million dollars sitting on her desk that haven't even been sent out Yet there is a deficit. So let's not sit here and talk about the bills because there are 30 checks sitting on that woman's desk right now for bills that have not been paid by the village of Dalton. Yet there is a $2.6 million deficit this year. And they've been overdrawn on the bank account five times. But just two, three months ago, there was no deficit. They had plenty of money. Oh, my God. All right. Anything else? All right, call the roll, please. Trustee Norwood. Aye. Trustee Stanley Brown. No. Trustee House. Aye. Trustee Holmes. No. Trustee Belcher. Aye. Motion passed. All right. And please stop making uh, false statements up here. So next on the agenda is new business. Um, can I have a motion to terminate? The contract of Otis and Stark Murphy Frazier. Y'all heard her say new business, right? But this is not new business. This is some of that same bullshit old business. And it looks like they're about to wrap up in about five minutes. Thank me. Demograph LTD as Legislative Council. Motion. Is there a second? Second. It's been motion and second. Any discussion? Nobody? Any discussion? So I put this on the agenda because it is so needed how everybody keeps telling y'all um, about deficits and all these issues, but yet they keep their legislative council. Um, if you want to reduce uh, this alleged uh, deficit, why don't you start there? That will take a million dollars right there off the top, right there. But you guys won't do it. Uh, you know what would take a million dollars off the top? Eliminating her security detail. This person keeps on um, doing fake um, things around here and causing a lot of trouble and turmoil between us as elected officials. And basically, he just running up the clock. He's been doing a money grab forever. And I've been saying this, saying this, saying this. And residents, now you see it because every single lawsuit that he has anything to do with it. And it's shameful that these trustees follow behind somebody that's leading them wrong, I guess, unless everybody get getting something. Um, it's a shame that 
they keep on bringing him on for things that's illegal, unconstitutional, and now people are gonna have actual cases just because y'all follow wrong. That's sad, and I would not want to see anybody in a situation like that. But you can't keep following wrong and costing the taxpayer money. Prime example: all the lawsuits that y'all have lost and the money grab that he just recently tried to do. I think you guys need to wake up and now throw in the towel and come on and let go this. Odison group. So there's a motion to second. Please call the roll. Trustee Norwood. No. Trustee Stanley Brown. Yes. Trustee House. No. Trustee Holmes. Yes. Trustee Belcher. No. Motion failed. Y'all taxpayer dollars. Y'all now, now know that the reason why Andrew Holmes votes yes every single time without asking any questions is because he's a rapist. And we now know because there was a <clears throat> sexual assault police uh, sexual assault reported to the <clears throat> excuse me to the um, the South Holland police on Wednesday of this week. And Tiffany Henyard has been named in a complaint um, uh, uh, with the Illinois Department of Human Rights. I'm in the process of obtaining those documents, so we will be able to read that complaint in whole, without interruption, without being told we out of water. We are going to read through those documents. It's one of the things that we do here at the Breakdown Show. I'm so glad this is over. Oh, but I got something else for you. Don't be mad at me. Is there a motion to discuss and approve approval of the IDOT resolutions for maintenance under the Illinois Highway Code and performance by Consultant Engineer Section Number 22-24550-00GM and 23 Y'all see this woman using her finger? She really cannot read. Dash five zeros dash zero zero GM. This is the one that Ron and Janil just explained. Is there a motion? Y'all know she don't read none of her emails, right? That's the word. Motion. Is there, is there second, a second? Second. Okay. Motion and second. Any discussion? Please call the roll. Trustee Norwood. Aye. Trustee Stanley Brown. Aye. Trustee House. Aye. Trustee Holmes. Aye. Trustee Belcher. Aye. Motion passed. Next on the agenda is discussion and approval of ordinance number 23 dash amending the village of Dalton code of ordinances related to hazardous materials impact fee. This is the one that Chief McCain just spoke about. A lot of times we have things that come in our community that's on trains. And if a train collide with a car or a crash or derail, get derailed for whatever reason, we want to be able to clean up those chemicals and not only that, oppose fees. Um, is there a motion? A motion. Is there a second? Second. Is there a motion and second? Any discussion? Please call around. Trustee Norwood. Aye. Trustee Stanley Brown. Aye. Trustee House. Aye. Trustee Holmes. Aye. Trustee Belcher. Aye. Motion passed. Next on agenda is discussion and approval of ordinance number 23 dash authorizing the issues of the 3.9 million general obligation tax attendance anticipation warrants uh, in anticipation of the collector the collection of tax levy for the tax year of 2022 by the village of Dalton. Um, is there a motion? A motion. Is there a second? Second. second. It's been a motion and a second. And for those that don't know what that is or what we're doing, it's basically us taking out a loan because our taxes will be late this year, like it was last year. The difference is the county um gave us the loan last year. This year we have to go out and get the money because it won't come in until like November, December, and we don't want to be without money in our fund. So that's the reason for this that you see. And basically, once they um give us our money, then we repay it. we repay this back. Um, it's been motion second. Please call around. Well, Mayor, I have a question. Okay, go ahead. Uh, I know last year it was like zero percent. Is that still the same this year? I do not know the number by heart. Let me ask the attorney. How do you not know how much the interest rate is on the loan, Mayor? Do you have the do you have number? We just going to. I no, I don't. Okay. I don't know. So she said I, I was they're going out. Me. They're going out to get it now. Okay, thank mm -hmm. you. Yep. Y'all don't vote on that. Any other questions? Okay, call around. Trustee Norwood. Aye. Trustee Stanley Brown. Aye. Trustee House. Aye. Trustee Holmes. Aye. Trustee Belcher. Aye. 
Motion passed. All right. Is there a motion to adjourn? Motion. Second. second. Is there a second? Second. Is there a motion and second? Please call around. Trustee Norwood. Aye. Trustee Stanley Brown. Aye. Trustee House. Aye. Trustee Holmes. Aye. Trustee Belcher. Aye. Motion passed. Meeting adjourned at 1023. All right. Good night, everybody. Thank you for coming out. This meeting started at 6 45 p.m. It was scheduled to have started at 6 30. It ended at 10 43 p.m. That was a four hour meeting. She spoke for two hours and five minutes of that entire meeting. And y'all don't be mad at me, but if you want to stay, I want to see how that Janelle Monet and that weird ass dress. I want to see how that meeting ended when they walked, when they adjourned the meeting early. Um, the last time, I just want to go back real quick since we've been here all day anyway. I want to see how that meeting ended. That was mm, September 5th, 2023. Let me just see real quick how this meeting ended after they adjourned. Cause I ain't been back to look at the meeting as you can see, since we left her ass sitting there talking to herself. So let's Every see how movie, it ended. And everything that goes on in our village. And I feel so bad that people keep walking out on y'all. That's how we ended up with that $33 million um, uh, settlement to that, that family because the board walked out when the insurance carrier, the attorneys, everybody was here. If anybody was here in that meeting, you witnessed it firsthand. They went right next door to the bar. All this fighting and all these things that you see before us is really just because um, people won't hire their friends or the, their contractors or things of that nature. But things get bidded out, whether people believe it or not. The engineer company hires all of those things as he cited before you earlier. I just want to make reference to what facts are and what the laws are. The laws is $5,000 that I get to sign off on, $20,000 that um, Keith Freeman, the village administrator, gets to sign off on, and anything else that goes out for bid is $25,000 and up. And guess what? Everything for you is under the threshold. It's $5,000 for a roof. It's $2,000 for a window. It's a shame that people have to come in here and take them vendors out of the warrant list that they vote for in the beginning of the year um, for a budget. Once a budget is passed, it's up to you to allocate and make um, do with the budget for over the time um, spent. Because anybody that runs a department, y'all know better. Y'all know y'all don't go ask for every little thing that you need for that department. It's already budgeted for, and now you spend your budget to what you see fit for your department. Prime example, lawn care, um, for instance, at Hap in the township. That's a budget when they got to go and get lawn care bags or go get anything that they need. They go get the things they need. So do public works over here. They go get what they need and they put a bill together. So for them to say, keep coming to them for every single thing, they run their day to day operation. Each department head does here. I just oversee the department. That's it. But anything they need, they go get. How she says she oversees the department, but she got them making orders for Christmas lights and banners with her name on it and um, and epoxy for the roller skating rink and the ice skating rink. How's she saying they run their own departments when she got them running up millions of dollars in bills with their names on them through their departments? Come on, Tiffany. <clears throat> so I just want to point it out to you guys. So thank you again for coming out. Um, are y'all ready? All right, go ahead. Which? Oh, uh, now, mind you, this meeting has legally been adjourned. Okay, if we remember before, this meeting has legally been adjourned. The trustees have walked out. The only ones there are Puddin' Pop, and we ain't figured out who you are yet, but we gonna find out. Lahi start next Monday. Next month. Next month. So October. Yes, October. Lahi starts next month. So if you need help with your utility bills, make sure you go. So this is just ice court. I always like to show you the beauty now, of Dawson think, and the if things. If I remember correctly, LIHEAP is that electric bill subsidy that people are given when they're low income. Um, and it usually happens right before the winter time. So people can have a little extra money to pay their utility bills as the uh, weather gets crazy and the bills get higher. But you got to be almost dead broke to get that kind of assistance. And we're doing the progress. This is us putting down the epoxy right there on 14312 um, Greenwood. 60, so if you ever interested. $65,000 that still has not been paid. Ordered by Scott Gilmore in the maintenance department. 
And a lot of this stuff you see on the news came because the village of Dalton wouldn't pay this bill. Well, they shouldn't have. They, the, when, the, when, the, when the demand letter was sent from the attorney about this epoxy flooring, Daniel Tim said, pay me what you owe me or I'm going to call the news. And that's what's happened. They go check it out. You it's, it's, might as well have this was about the month when December was when that letter went out. So it wasn't by accident that we all kind of caught wind of this situation in January, right around Martin Luther King Day. A blast. We're going to have a big skate event there. Um, I do a lot with the schools. The schools come out and they basically um, <laughs> have, a, have a whole little party right here on the, on the ice. I tried the floor. I thought I was floor. <laughs> but yeah, that's us. Just ice rink. Now, right here in the pink section, so you see just ice rink. And then right under the word ice, you might see a little pink line. I hope she shows that, but I doubt she will. You know why? Because that pink line says, by Super Mayor Tiffany A. Henyard. Just Ice Rink, by Super Mayor Tiffany A. Henyard. That's what it says. It doesn't say by the village of Dalton. So why shouldn't she pay for this $1.3 million out of her own pocket? She got it on her wrist right now in a Cartier bracelet. Right there, guys. It's for a residence, for you. And you won't believe the value of people property right here in Dalton now. Right here. Just for building. Wait a minute. I'm going to catch it. I'm going to catch it. We're going to catch it. Try the footwork. Thought I was footwork. <laughs> but yeah, that's us. Just ice rink right there, guys. It's for a residence, for you. And you won't believe the value of people property right here in Dalton now. Just for building that. Damn, I keep trying to rewind it. Hold on, let me see if I can do it. If I can't do it this time, then I'll let it go. Try the footwork. Thought I was footwork. <laughs> but yeah, that's us. Chest ice rink right there, guys. Tour residence for you. And you won't believe the value of people property right here in Dawson. Okay, let me see if I can zoom in on it. Let me see if I can. It says... By Super Mayor Tiffany A. Henyard. That's why she never brought it in close. That's why she never zoomed in on this. That's why you don't see this on camera. What does it say? Just Ice Rink by Super Mayor Tiffany A. Henyard. So then pay for it. You should pay for it then. If, if, if you're the one who put this project in place and made it happen... You said the board didn't approve it. We know that. But you should go ahead and pay for it before you go to prison. This is the least you could do. Hold on. I got to get a screenshot. Thank you. Let me let her dumb ass. Continue. Now, just for building that, all those houses and properties around there, go check the value. I could hardly stand her voice. A whole lot less. I definitely cannot stand her voice in a uh, fucking half speed. Sorry. Give me a second. Oh, that's going to take a minute. Oh, there we go. Okay. Back to business. Yeah, that's us on the move. All right, what other positive video you got for us? Oh, what else you got? So he got to figure out what to play to make her happy. She hey guys, play so this was us giving water out. The hottest day. It was super hot. We were sweating. Myself. It was 100 degrees. Now, I know it gets hot in Chicago. I've been there in the summertime. It really does get hot because it's a concrete jungle. But they got a little water to make the wind blow. But where I live, it gets over 115 in the summer. I mean, it's April, it's March. I'm enjoying it now because hiking season is over in May. 
we can't even go outside and go hiking because it's going to be 100 degrees April 15th. Okay, Tiffany. Trusty Holmes, Trusty Stan Brown, everybody was out there, including my police department, Chief Collins, Chief McCain, uh, Stacey Corral, everybody. And people told us about their neighbor. I lived in China, as you know. And in China, they would have these scripted moments where the camera would follow somebody and they'd go to somebody's house and knock on their door, give them a bag of rice or oil or something during the pandemic. Does this not look like a scripted moment to you? This don't look like a scripted moment. We're going to back it up. I want you to see from when she interacts with this person until, oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, my neighbor. Bitch, please. We see you. It was super hot. We were sweating. Myself, trusty Holmes, trusty Stan Brown, everybody. What mayor hugs people? That's not professional. It's not, you're not a plantation owner. You're not a um, social worker. You're a mayor. Keep it professional. And you see that Puma shirt she got on DD's discount. Out there, including my police department, Chief Collins, Chief McCain, uh, Stacey Corral, everybody. And people told us about their neighbors. We was able to give shelter to people that need it. Y'all couldn't see she was acting. Thank you. All right. Yeah. She made sure her wig was right for this moment. Come on, somebody. It ain't a black woman alive sitting at home with her wig on. There's good. Well, I don't wear wigs. <laughs> oh, damn. Paco. Harassing us as we walk through the town. Never stop, guys. Never. But didn't she just say that she wanted the news to come out when they're doing stuff and report the good stuff? So why would you have a problem with Dan Placco being there? Oh, that. But this is everybody, as you can see, walking through the town, giving out water. It was like 100 degrees that day. And this is the thing that I do. This when you are operating, let me tell you something, Tiffany. Let me remind you of the law. When you are operating in public, doing business as a public servant, like a police officer, a mayor, an alderman, a, a commissioner, you, your being filmed is a part of the expectation. People have a right to film you doing your public business. Did you know that? And that's all Dane Placco was doing. He was operating according to his First Amendment right. What I love to do. And believe it or not, guys, I love what I do. I do this because I truly care. That means it's not work for me. So these videos are also on. Now, how much do you think all these people got paid in overtime to walk up and down the street passing out water, one bottle of water to people who already had water? Village website, YouTube, Facebook page. Look at Pete McCain's face. That man can't And I don't know nobody, nobody that does this. Like a cheap college. Yep. People just so appreciative of that. I mean, that's the kind of work I've done when I did outreach. We passed out water and, and bags of food and shit. That's not a mayor's job. Your job is to be in there making sure them bills get paid. And that balance, that budget is balanced. Your job is not to be out there walking around with your administrator and the fire chief and the police chief. They got other things to do with their time than walk up and down the street passing out water. What are you talking about? And then all those people that got overtime? And I even got calls about helping people, mom, their family. And then what'd you do about those phone calls? 
public works was out there, everybody. everybody. I just want to show y'all the positivity of things that my department does. Everybody was raking in overtime. Everybody's uh, labor rights were being violated because while they never prepared to be walking up and down the street in 100 degree heat, carrying cases of water, you forced them to. Oh, I can't wait till the Labor Commission get in on this. And these are things that, trust me, don't come with the title. But we do it because we truly care. Her attorney. So, yep. Thank you. You know why, what else? You know why her attorney left? Because the meeting has legally been adjourned and he's no longer going to get paid for the rest of this time. Once that meeting is adjourned, his clock stops. So Mike Delgado, yo nigga, Tiffany left. He left. Anything else you got? Yeah. Oh, Don Park. Okay, you can show Don Park. <laughs> <laughs> See, resident asked what's going on with Don Park. Look, so one thing, trust. Lacey is exhausted. Look at him. He tired. He's got to stop doing this, getting together with people and not having facts. So everybody keep, okay, I'll let you see this yeah, first. So after our event that we had, we went to the Dalton Park District to show you guys how they left their park. And this was like midnight, like literally. Things was everywhere. Because all I can do is give you the facts. People can come here and say that oh, they no, cleaned up here. and we lying and we this. It's not true. I'm showing you right now how they keep our parks. If this was all in a Tinley, they parks wouldn't look like this. They would have cleaned it up right after the event was over with. So I just want to show you the complaints that we get. We go and we check it out, but I make a video just so I can show you the facts instead of me saying it out of my mouth that you can see for your own two eyes. Go ahead, play the video. People's here, and I wanted to come to the park district to show you guys the things that I deal with. So when people get to tell you our stories, I want you to see your own two eyes. See how I'm dressed? See me the whole event myself this evening. And it is what? 11, 12 o'clock at night. But this is what I do. I drive around my town and I make sure everything is in order. I want to show you how they leave your park parks. That's for the kids. So they tell you all that. But it's not. All they do is have events, parties, people all over the place. Look at my, look at my park. It's all they do, right? Look, everybody drinks you. Got all of the big stuff back. Come on, come on, please. Let me see my but that's not her jurisdiction. That's the park. Anyway, look, look. As far as I can see, you see all this? That's it. It shouldn't be this way, but it is. But the minute I get to telling y'all about stuff or or now that Y'all right now she's actually trespassing. She's on private property. That's not property of the village of Dalton. If I understand correctly, that property belongs to the park district. They have their own governance and she's not over it. I start writing tickets because I am going to write tickets to the park district because this is unacceptable. You must have staff to make sure they clean up the things that you got to find. How are you being in our park like this? It's 12 o'clock at night. Y'all know that we got deers, raccoons, all the animals that come out at night. And all they do is take the stuff and money in the forest. You got to care about when you go your leg. You got to care about your time. And this Can I ask y'all a question? When was the last time you were out at midnight with a cameraman? Oh, I'm telling me, all the times you always hear me was like, y'all wouldn't dare not to this park like this. Y'all wouldn't. And to the commissioners over there, y'all should be ashamed of y'all said, because somebody should have been on point to make sure this park got cleaned up when y'all got done trying to be met to my son. So the kids both come and see a park like this, I'm like, hi. But I'm, I'm going to show y'all this video that's for me, so you'll know what I'm talking about. I'm going to show y'all. Look at the guy, huh? You got me? Right. You see all the stuff. Look at all the stuff. You got right. all the stuff. You got 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 all the stuff. You Dumb as Stan Brown walking in a vacant field, wonder why Mises is crawling up his leg. That's stupid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Well, that's what they did. But they don't show y'all that. Now tell y'all that. Stylist and a makeup artist on the on the village payroll, and she's still ugly. Jeez. I, the part should not be government. I don't say because I was y'all need management. Y'all have nobody to manage. Y'all mm -hmm. need to put the parts back with the kids. And stop making it about events to all the commissions over there. Stop because at the end of the day, we truly care about what we lay out here. Remember, I grew here. Don't she look like she high or drunk? Y'all, what's wrong with that woman? Why are her eyes so dilated? Why are her pupils so very dilated? They're outside at night. That woman is drunk. Use the swings or, or the slides. Come on, man. Stop. I'm going to show y'all the truth. I'm going to give y'all the facts. If you can lie and live by and say whatever, y'all can do it. 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 You're not going to tell me your mayor is not high. Appreciate it. She didn't believe me. That's all I can tell you. She didn't believe me. All you commissioners over there should be ashamed of yourself. Leo, where you at? Let's go do news stories. Where you at? Let's clean your parts up, buddy. Let's clean your parts up. Sandra, where you at? Everybody got so much to say. Let's go check that out back, y'all. See? So y'all see she got a little nose job with the money, right? Um, and you can see that she been on that powder. I love her, right? But y'all ain't taking care of her. You see? But I just want to point out what to give y'all. These are your parts. Burger sugar. White girl. So that's how the parts look. Here, I'm going to let them you guys see the other video oh of how the swings and things look in the park the slide you wouldn't dare she really thought after three hours of berating the the trustees they were gonna sit through this she lucky we doing let your kids slide on that i know i would so this the one i put out when they did the little fake news story I remember they reported they cleaned it up they did how come she not going out pointing all those uh fire hydrants that's bent over and and light posts that's exposed and the and the drag racers and the drug dealers and the and the people shooting at the auto zone that ain't got nothing to do with the park district, honey. Stress enough how many things I fight for for the people to have a good community in our village. And it starts with us. We have to care enough to take it on board. It's like, because guess what? Guys are going to allow us to do all these things that be relevant to the things that you're not going to take care of. You're not going to have all of that. But what really you want to do is in her eyes right she was obviously on something in that last little video that she did look at the things that are right on the slides on the different things throughout the park on some media i can't do nothing but point it out to you reverend and make you see that you're working 
what it is. I need your help in making sure that elected officials in your own backyard do what they're supposed to do, which is take care of it. All I can do is bring attention to it and hopefully they fix it because now I put it out there for it to be known. So I need them to actually fix the part and stop just using it as a partying um, holding place for them and their crumbs. Fix it. Because at the end of the day, all I can say is they don't really care about us. <laughs> they don't really care about us. So that was another video because I wanted to go there to show you guys that they did not. Can she take a video of them 30 checks on Janice Johnson's desk? Clean it up. They did not fix it. If somebody get hurt with that, you literally keep pause for one minute. Um, if somebody get hurt with that, you literally will bankrupt a park because that is a bad injury. As you can see, I didn't make it up, but that's their parks. Instead of paying for lawsuits that y'all keep losing for things because you don't know the laws. What the problem is that I've seen here in the Village of Dogs, people been accustomed to doing things the wrong way for so long that when you try to teach them the right way, they want to say that you're the wrong one. But I'm reciting laws, cases, showing them facts. And all I'm saying is like, okay, well, read it. You don't got five hundred and twenty nine dollars for makeup charged to the the village credit card. I, I mean, it's obviously necessary. She still don't look good with the makeup on, but damn, that's a lot of money. I could have took her to like uh, Ulta, Sephora. We could have spent maybe, well, for her face. Let me see. Yeah, I see where it came from. Believe me, read it. And it'll tell you that you've been doing it wrong all this time. And that's the problem with trying to get people to change to what the right way is. And that's what we've been focusing on. So I just want to point that out to you guys that I'm going to keep on with the fight because I truly care. And my daughter's growing up in this community now. I want to fix it. I'm not going to leave it here for her or your kids um, bed the way y'all used to. It used to be that way. But when we was here, like I told everybody. One more thing, Tiffany. You've worn us out. I just want God, want us to work on one more word. And I'm going I'm to send you home with this word to work on. Bad. Not big. Bad. Bad. Not big. Bad. It's okay to be well-spoken. It was, man, Becky and Heather and Susan and all those people was here when I moved to town. Majority of them are gone now. But now the way we're fixing it, they're coming back. She's saying white people because her value is in white people. She values white people. But I want it to be safe where well, you can leave your kid out front to play and nothing happen. You can leave the bike and it still be there when they come back from using the bathroom. That's I mean, the can we talk about something for a minute? I just want to get this out the way. I am so tired of trying to figure this out. It don't move. Is she like really bald headed? She gotta be, cause this don't move. I mean, have vision, but you gotta have vision and you gotta dream. I tell you about dream with your eyes open. If you don't have no vision or no dreams, then what are we doing? Today, not promise. Tomorrow, not promise. So all I could do is just show you what you mean to me. Show you your worth. I think you work. She said, all I could do was just show you what you mean to me. Isn't that somebody's song? Real love, real love. A dun 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 a test of time. Yes, sir. I hear you. She's just going to sing a love song to the residents. More than what you've been getting. And I think that you've been getting service since I took over. Despite what people may say. People can point fingers or say, we don't have this and don't have that. Then go get it. Because I don't hear no. I'm an entrepreneur by heart. I'm going to go find the money. Now, and she said the reason why she did a two-hour address in this meeting we just looked at was because the trustees adjourned the meeting. But she's still holding these people hostage. Bring it back to my community because I think we deserve just the same thing that the other communities are getting that's way up north. So all I can do is just show y'all that I, I care and keep fighting the fight despite 
the controversy, despite the naysayers, despite all the mess they put on the news, fake news that is, about nothing. But they never show y'all the truth, the building of the community, the things we go through. People talk about retro, but y'all ain't got paid for over four years. And that was before me. But I'm the one coming in and executing every contract for y'all. Making sure y'all get what's owed to y'all. What? Everybody getting their pay that was owed to them from back then. Ooh. As it relates to now, <laughs> your pay went up. But people got to understand, where the revenue at? Y'all still got to find revenue to, to fill that void. We can't just keep saying, okay, we're going to do it. Okay, what's the plan? So because do I just come up with the plan or do the board help come up with the plan? Everybody keeps saying what I ain't talking to them about. But no one calls. No one talks. Everybody get up here and do a show. That's what I'm tired of. We do one meeting, one meeting, and one meeting, they don't even want to pay bills. But guess what? We did all that work over that one month we've been missing. We didn't did, man, oh my God, the whole west side is basically done. The whole south side is basically done. Now we're moving on to the east side. We're moving on to other areas because they're neglected as well. Are you saying that the way Dalton looks today on the west side and the south side is the way you want it to look? But if people not paying vendors, how do you continue progress? Because really, that's their goal, to stop progress. Who stops things where they claim they live in? So obviously, you don't live here because you don't care about fixing it. But we do. Within my first two years, we did amazing things. And I think I've shown you guys that hey, it only changed when you want it to change. Nobody else can help change it but you. And the way you do that is by putting people on boards that care about you. They don't just walk out because they may or don't want to hear. It's like a, like a stubborn kid. That's how they act. When you want to hear your parent no more, you run in your room like that. But parent came with that belt, right? Tap, tap, tap. Where that's at? That's the problem right now. People got to stop walking out. I remember when I was a trustee. I remember me, trustee Stan Brown, trustee Robert Hunt. When we sat here, Riley used to say all kinds of stuff. We sat there and took it. We didn't never walk out. What what they do that at? You take it on the chin, she right? Said, you take said, your lashes. She said she sat there and took it. Have y'all ever watched a meeting between her and, and the previous mayor when she was a trustee? Did she ever sit there and take anything? You hear whatever you're gonna say, then you move on, you vote, and you move on. Because you elected us to vote and govern. Right. That's it. At the end of the day, I say the mayor's report for last because I want to at least shed light on things that m may have um, questions to. And then not only that, show you the positivities as well because you hear so much negative. At least show you the things that my staff do because they get talked about so much. But they actually are really smart, young individuals that govern our town. People got to give them a chance. Stop turning your back on our kids, can we guys. Stop? Can we they stop are the future. I don't care. Nobody smart young individuals first of all every single person in that administration is at least 35 that's not young those are adults i think the youngest person on that on that team might be stacy carell his nose makes him look a lot younger than he probably is because he got a little kid nose but everybody else, you talking about Collins in his 50s, you in your 40s, um, uh, Tanjanique is 40, Janis Johnson looked like she probably 50. We know William Moore got to be close to 60. He looked like Uncle Ben. What you talking about young? Give him a chance. With whose money? Based on what track record? But that's how you ended up in office. It's like they are the future. They're next. If they do something wrong, guide them to do better. I don't care what you do. It's how you come from it. That's it. What matters is what you do in that dash. That's oh it. Gosh, Trying to so please so people that never will eat with you, sleep with you, be in your household. Stop it. That's what my message is always to the youth. And they understand it. The youth here in our village, in our town, know who their mayor is. Ask them who was the previous mayor. Ask them who, who a trustee is. I guarantee they can't recite nobody. Ask them what was the previous deficit before you became mayor. Ask them how many criminal records are their, their previous mayor has. But trustee Holmes and trustee Stan Brown. Because they're the ones they always see. They're the ones always doing. That's what you got to remember. Don't pay attention to people that at your door when it's election time. Election coming up. Line People start doing the fake things. That's fake love. You don't want that. 
They only doing it because they want you to vote for them. But what about the first two years when you need it the most? What about the years when you need to help with that water bill? One thing I will say about my administration, they go get resources. Wait a we, minute. She is literally gaslighting these people. I just told you Keith Freeman knew there was a glitch in the water bill system. The lady who was inputting the water bills was doing it wrong. One clerk in the whole department. And he refused to do an audit on the water bills so people could get what they were supposed to be owed. But he, she's sitting here talking about the trustees neglected you when you needed help with that water bill. Wasn't that Keith Freeman who decided not to do an audit on the water bills? All go to Springfield. We went to Springfield. We came back with six point eight million dollars for Dalton. Where is Dalton? It? Go ask any mayor, Where any mayor it? in the state of Illinois, did they come out with that kind of money? But we did. Where is it? But they don't write that. Talk about them eighty scholarships we gave them kids. Talk about that. They don't write that. All I can do is just show you guys, oh my God. and you make the decision for yourself. Don't be a follower. Make sure you go get the facts, and then make your judgment. Don't follow somebody else's drum based off of the beat that you don't know because you ain't got the facts. All I want y'all to know is that I love y'all. And there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> so, I'm going to end with that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Lacey sleepy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you are. You're the priest of Captain Everything we ever asked you to do. Yes. Yes. And I appreciate that. Thank you. I really do. I had some stuff behind my house. This one right here. The Marcus, yep. The Marcus came, he said, you know what? That's right. Ridiculous. Yes. This is ridiculous. How are you working for us and you abandon us and leave us? Yes. I agree. Yeah, they do. You know, I'm just like, it's, it's, it's just sad. Mm -hmm. Look, Trustee Brown, I'm standing here wanting to know about the FEMA information. She's standing here, she walked me through it. And I'm like, oh, okay, this is nice. Let's see how just leave. Mm -hmm. I'm Let's just Let, yeah, yeah, that's what they do. You can't please everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is now technically an illegal meeting, so it really don't matter how long this lady speaks, huh? They'll be out of here in a few minutes, y'all, and so will we. Oh, yeah. Y'all, Constantine Williams down in the comments said exactly what legal part of the meeting is this exchange? Because this is an illegal meeting. Man, the stuff is yep. Yeah. So you know, you need to stop it. Yes. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Actually, you will receive. That's right. Amen. And now you, oh, you okay? Yeah. But thank you. Well, thank you guys that stayed um, for staying for Mayor's report, just so you can get more facts. It sounds like a whole bunch of people must have walked out when the trustees walked out. Whole bunch of people must have walked out for her to say that. Clarity. Uh, we're going to continue with conversations with the mayor, but we're going to start that next month. Uh, we're doing a walk for hope because we need that throughout the soft land. So we're starting that coming up. I wonder if that was Trina Downs that was speaking because Trina Downs didn't comment the whole time that lady was speaking. And then when Trina Downs stopped speaking, 
When that lady stopped speaking, Trina Down started commenting. I love it. It's so funny to me. So if any of you ever want to partake in that, just let us know. You can walk with us. We go to different communities and we encourage them to stay motivated, stay positive, and just let them know that, hey, stay prayed up because nothing changes overnight. It's all about timing. Timing is everything. So that's what we're doing. So uh, we love to have you guys to come and uh, walk with us, at least uh, walk us out. And then if you got to go, then y'all got to go. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you guys so much. No, no. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we're going to have you talk to um, Tanjanique right here. And she'll make sure that it's on there. So no matter what, you'll get the text black. All right. Well, thank you guys for coming out. I appreciate you. And again, I love y'all. Um, share um, the information that we gave y'all for uh, buying back the block, which they never vote for, but I'm going to keep trying for that. Even if it takes four years, I'm going to make sure we initiate that because we got a lot of vacancies throughout Dalton. And a lot of y'all complain about squatters on you all block or um, hoarders. Uh, we got a lot of hoarders too throughout Dalton. So we're working on getting people out as it relates to people that shouldn't be in homes that they just took over because it was vacant. So um, Does she know the difference between a squatter and a hoarder? Because you can't just put a hoarder out. <laughs> you trying to get killed. Please just communicate with us. Thank y'all again. Enjoy y'all evening. Thank you. She don't even know how to end a meeting. She doesn't even know how to end that meeting. <sighs> I'm just seeing what's happening, y'all, just like y'all. I'm just seeing what's happening. I wonder what they're talking about. Isn't that subject? Well, the meeting's been adjourned, so I guess it don't matter. Well, there we have it, y'all. I don't even know how long this is. Oh, this has been an all-day affair. I have enjoyed spending the time with you. I look forward to watching this with you in the premiere. Please like this video. Please share this video. Please join in the comments. That's all I got. I ain't got no more. <laughs> Bye now. I holla.